Why is crypto crashing again? Well, let's dive right into the macroeconomic backdrop. I know you guys have been expecting these choppy waters because we've talked about how we're experiencing a period of stagflation like the 1970s where you have high inflation, high interest rates, slow growth. It's literally the worst type of environment for risk assets. So let's look back in time at what assets did in the 1970s. This is the stock market back then. Obviously, there's this massive run up. Everyone got really excited to own risk assets. I'm sure there was a bubble. And then we just had these massive drops down. Boom, boom, crash, right? Now, obviously, they didn't let it go too far. The government did not let it go too far. So the markets are just completely and utterly manipulated by the Federal Reserve. And so what happened today to scare people specifically, if you're looking at the short term only, Bitcoin prices slide below 30K. Inflation data bring more pain to cryptos. So inflation came in hotter than expected. The market's worried that the Federal Reserve needs to spike interest rates even more, which is going to cause the market to crash. And so now let's look at the current stock market. We have the NASDAQ. We have this massive run-up, lots of people getting excited, and now we have our first leg down. I'm expecting choppy waters from here on out. Again, we're in a stagflationary period for the first time since the 1970s. Now let's look at what interest rates did in the 1970s. We had this. We had a massive spike up to like 16% on the 10-year. Look at where we are now. We're at 2%. So the thought is that this rate needs to come up. Inflation needs to die down once they grind the economy to a halt to kill inflation, which is what they did back then. Now let's look back at the stock market in the 1970s to see where this all went. This is where it gets really, really, really exciting. So that is the stock market in the 1970s. Look what happened once all that fear and volatility went away. There was a truly revolutionary revaluing of assets. And so obviously, when you look at the charts today, they look very scary. You just see deep red. Now imagine if you had bought some technology assets back in the 1970s and you experienced this most incredible run up. All you had to do was stomach that fear, that volatility, because what happens when you come out of an environment like this is people realize the dollar is devalued, everyone's wages go up to compensate, everyone's houses and assets go up to compensate. That's what happened here. So right now, we have one of the most revolutionary early stage asset classes in the world selling off on deep red in the deep pennies. And so in theory, if humanity survives, if America survives, which is a strong bet, then the assets that are the most revolutionary and the most undervalued are going to provide, in theory, life-changing returns. If this crypto winter continues, you could have the opportunity to buy 1 million H bars at $10,000 if H bar goes to a penny. Who really knows how far this stuff will go? I'm not worried at all because you take the long view and you get excited. Now, obviously, nothing is stopping you guys from investing in oil in a stagflationary period. It does extremely well. Look what happened back in the 70s. It went from like $3 up to $35. Feel free to invest in gold. Again, these are stagflationary fear trades. Look what happened back then. It went from like nothing to a few hundred dollars. It literally had life-changing returns for people buying commodities back then. Now, that's a trade. Obviously, high prices in commodities is the cure for high prices because people dump it on the market and there's far less, far more supply than there is demand. Regardless, let's look at the life-changing opportunities. Let's look at the revolutionary assets, the news. What is the smart money doing? Well, here's an update today. Fidelity CEO, I see crypto winter as an opportunity to double down and go extra hard into crypto. That is a CEO of one of the biggest financial institutions in the entire world. Everyone's heard of Fidelity and now they want to become a cryptocurrency exchange. What does that tell you? There's other news out that the Bloomberg terminal that everyone on Wall Street uses to track financial data is now tracking the top 50 cryptos, right? Why would all this infrastructure be built if they think the prices are just going to go down forever? Obviously, the smartest people in the world think there's massive adoption and massive use cases. Despite the current crypto bear market, a survey from Deloitte and PayPal points to the rising adoption of digital currency and crypto. So you guys get to decide, are you going to invest and trade in the commodity space and try to ride out the stagflation? Maybe get some gains on the ways up and the way down and trade? Or are you going to buy on deep red the most life-changing revolutionary technologies? Totally your call. We're all about the early stage investor and finding 
massive value for the long term. And so we're excited. This is amazing times. Guys, stay tuned, stay strong. Should be a really turbulent ride ahead.